So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can improve your fitness results for military selection. Level 20, 16. Ooh, okay, level 21 complete. No, I'm just joking. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be the bleep test. Now, the bleep test has been put in place for the army instead of the two kilometer run. A lot of people are struggling with the bleep test due to the fact that they're just not changing direction effectively enough. They're not getting low, they're not getting the foot over the line, and they're turning like a bit of a bus. It's not very good to do it that way. You're gonna add seconds onto your time, which over the period of the intervals, you're gonna drastically decrease your overall outcome on the bleep test. If you're looking at the screen now, what you're gonna see is how to turn effectively at the line. Get nice and low, get that one foot straight over the line, and push off on that front foot and the back foot to ensure you're getting off the line as quick as possible. This is gonna add milliseconds on to every single interval, which in turn is gonna give you a better overall score and you're gonna be able to get higher and hopefully pass the bleep test. Okay guys, I've got another tip for you and it's gonna be based around cardiovascular fitness. Now we've got to think about the events that we're going into. The two kilometre run, the 1.5 mile run, the bleep test are all based around fast paces throughout it and you've got to really go for it if you want to pass these events so we need to think about that when we're doing our training we need to improve our cardiovascular fitness and we need to improve it by doing different training methods i'm going to tell you what they are yes you guessed it the first training method that you need to be implementing into your training regime is going to be hill sprints now hill sprints are very good for increasing your athleticism as well as your sprinting speed and it gets your body used to working at that high intensity so what i would advise doing is find a nice little incline just like this one here or like the one i just did a second ago and do five to ten hill reps up to the top as fast as you possibly can and walk slash jug <laughs> walk slash jog back down and um, recover while you're going down and then sprint back up steadily try to increase that over a couple of weeks or over a couple of months to ensure that you are progressing and getting better and better don't slack off on the way up work as hard as you possibly can it's best effort just like what it's going to be on the day when you're at selection Okay, so the second method of training that you want to be implementing into your training regime is going to be your steady long runs. Now, these are really good for building up stamina and just getting comfortable running. So when you're doing the two kilometer run, the 1.5 mile run, the bleed test, you need to be comfortable at running and you need to be able to withstand the fast pace. But at the same time, you need to have some stamina to keep on going through them higher levels and ensuring that you're not giving up. So the way we do that is by implementing long runs. So that's going out and doing three, four, five miles, nice and steady at a low heart rate and just getting comfortable running. This type of run is not meant to be too hard. It's supposed to be a nice little steady run. Enjoy it, put your headphones in, listen to some music, listen to a podcast, whatever you like to do. Just get comfortable running. There's no need to push it too hard. You should be working at around about 120 to 140 beats a minute if you've got an Apple Watch or anything like that to track it and that's ideal. You shouldn't be blowing out your ass. Okay, so the final thing we're going to talk about, which you need to think about when trying to pass selection, is going to be your mental attitude. Now, this is nothing to do with your physical ability. It's all to do with having it up here. Now, what I see a lot of times is people giving up before they have even reached anywhere close to their potential. And that's all to do with mental resilience and just robustness and this is one of the things that annoys me so much because you see people that have got so much talent and so much capability in terms of passing these selections and getting into the military and having the career of their choice and all that sort of stuff. And they just can't do it because they don't have it up here. So when you've got a selection, just remember it's one test. It's, a, it's one test, you can do it. Have that mental toughness to keep on going. Keep pushing yourself. Your body will be able to do amazing things if you just keep on going. Win that battle up there and you will definitely pass selection. Do these methods that I've told you about today and you will definitely pass. If you've got any more questions about passion, military selection or anything else at all, I'm gonna do another video on some other things that go on at selection that people struggle with, i.e. the medical test. Um, and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an insight. Like I said, I do this on a daily basis and it's what I love to do. So hit me up in the comment sections if you've got any questions at all. Thanks for watching. Peace.